Hello everyone. Now let's talk about Nmap scripting engine. So Nmap scripting engine is actually a part of a Nmap and it's one of the most powerful feature of the Nmap. So through Nmap scripting engine, we can write our own scripts which we can use in performing different networking tasks. So we can also use pre-written scripts of various security researchers present already in Nmap scripting engine. So one of the most powerful of feature of this tool is that we can use this tool for scanning our target and once we scan the target we can exploit our target. So this tool is also comes in the category of VAPT tool that is vulnerability assessment and penetration testing tool. So here you can see the NSC script categories. So in NSC NF scripting engine the scripts are divided into different categories as follows. So the first one is auth. So the scripts which are present inside the auth categories are actually used for finding the authentication pages or for authentication purposes. Then the scripts which are present inside the brute categories is actually used for brute forcing the target like uh, for performing different brute force attack, dictionary attacks to FTP logins, HTTP logins and so on. So the script present in discovery categories is actually used for finding the target or used for scanning the target. Then there are other categories like DOS, exploit, fuzzer used for fuzzing the target and malware. So if you want to know more about NSE scripts categories then you can visit their official website. Here is the link given below. So now let's see that how we can use NMAP scripting engine in order to exploit our target. Now let's see that how we can use NMAP scripting engine. So in the last video I showed you that how we can use NMAP and we all know that NMAP scripting engine is a part of and map. So NSE contains a different different scripts divided into different categories like script for authentication, script for host discovery, script for reconnaissance and so on and so forth. So let's start and map first. So right now I am inside my Kali Linux instance and here is the terminal Kali terminal you can see. So in order to use any script, any of the nmap scripting engine script inside our nmap search what we have to do is we first have to write nmap then we have to give an additional parameter called as script hyphen hyphen script followed by the script name. So in this first search I am using a simple script called as banner. So what this script will do? This script will make an connection with an any open port on a server. If that open port sent anything to our script or anything to our request then that script will print out that data here in the result. So I am using this script nmap hyphen hyphen script script name is banner followed by the website name. Okay, so here you can see that it has printed out the banner of port 22 and banner detail is SSH version and same like port 3306 it's printing its banner and same for the port 5900. So this was the simple script which just print the banner and some any random data sent by the particular port. Now let's use some another scripts of NSC. So nmap hyphen hyphen script. Now I'm using one script called as HTTP headers. So first of all what is HTTP headers? HTTP headers are nothing but just our HTTP request and response. Means how our request and response looks like. So there is one script in nmap scripting engine called as HTTP headers. So I'm using this script. So nmap hyphen hyphen script HTTP headers followed by the website name. Okay, now let's analyze the result. So as we all know that the port number for HTTP is 80 and here you can see the list of HTTP header. So now what 
our HTTP request contains or what's inside the HTTP header. So here is the list. So it also it contains date, the server information, to whom it requesting or receiving the request response, then access control, X power, then connection, close, connection type, text HTML. Now let's scroll down and let's read the HTTPS header, it's same. And the request type is head. So this was all about HTTP headers. Now let's use one script which will enumerate all the important directories on a remote server on a, or on a remote website. So that script name is HTTP enum. So let me just write down nmap hyphen hyphen script followed by the script name that is HTTP enum and followed by the website name. Okay, now let's analyze the result. So at port number 80, it has enumerated some of files and some of its directories here you can see and same for the port 443 slash icon slash images slash help. So now if you remember our last video about scanning the target in which I showed you that how we can scan the different different subdomains of a particular website by using NOCPY scan. So there is one script in nmap called as DNS brute which will perform same task as NOCPY do. So now let's use that script to enumerate the subdomain. So the script name is DNS brute. Now let's check the subdomains for google.com hit enter okay so here you can see that it has listed out all the subdomains of google.com along with its IP address so you can see a long list of detail of a domain names of google.com So this was a quick short introduction about nmap scripting engine. So thanks for watching this video.